What's up, Infinix? This is TechNick9 from and with me at the Galaxy Nexus and codename Android RAM review for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Ryzen, and Sprint. So right when you look at the lock screen, you can see you got the the usual camera, unlock, and Google Now. But with this RAM, you can actually change the these two options too. You can change it to any bookmark, any application, any other thing you want. You can change your clock. I actually changed it to Gmail and File Manager. So you have a lot of options and a lot of customization with this RAM. Um, this is probably one of my all-time favorite RAMs, um, if not my favorite RAM. So that way you can see it's on actual codename Android, so show you some proof if you don't believe me. <laughs> so anyway, this is probably the closest thing you can get to AOKP currently because AOKP hasn't released for Jelly Bean officially. They do have a preview, you can watch the video as well. So actually just look at, let's look at the interface and let's see some of the things they actually offer. Let's go in general, let's actually go into power menu. And let's see, you can actually, let's add airplane mode, or, I mean, as you can see, now you get airplane mode, so let's actually take off everything, I gotta stop doing that, right, and you'll have power off now, so this RAM will offer a ton of customization, if I was actually going to be showing you one by one everything, it would probably take about an hour about because this RAM will show you so much. Let's actually look at themes. So let's do... So you actually have to download those themes. Quiet hours, you can actually change it. Enable quiet hours, so... New notifications. So with quiet hours, you can make everything silent. So when you're sleeping or at work, you can actually make it quiet. So let's actually look at profiles. You can change it to home, night, and you can actually change all those settings. So I can exchange it, so I only I want to disable my mo mobile data, disable Bluetooth, and GPS when I'm at work. So that's pretty awesome. It offers a ton of customizations, like I told you. I actually have to do be pretty quick, it makes this video not too long for all you guys. But anyway, this RAM is the ultimate RAM right now. I would highly recommend anyone get it. Let's take a look about RAM and see what it offers, what it tells you about. So you got the, the donate. Don't forget to donate to this developer if you find if you're using this. RAM and you really find it helpful because he has worked hard on it and he, he it's not like he gets paid to make these RAMs, you know, so donating is a big help for him and it helps see that people are supporting him and he'll probably make more RAMs, you know, so it's great. So let's actually look into performance. It's probably my favorite startup tweaks. Enable SD boost. <clears throat> so you can actually enable SD boost so it'll make your read your SD card faster so that's pretty cool like I told you there's an endless amount of customization this is probably the RAM that has the most customization probably even a little bit more or less than AOKP currently because there is only a preview built for Jelly Bean like I told you earlier so nonetheless let's do a quadrant score and uh, let's actually see what it gets because it's gonna be complete stock I'm not gonna do over underclocking or overclocking and let's actually see what it gets I am actually interested in what it gets, so I'll be back. Okay, I got quite a set up, so actually this started up and let's see what it gets because I, I'm really interested in see what it gets because this is a crazy amount of customization you can do with this RAM. But underclocking, overclocking, a, a great, a great amount of tweaking. So I'll be back once this is complete. Okay, it is complete, so let's actually see what it got. So your device scored pretty low. But there's a ton of customization, so it's 2000, 2059, so it's not a performance RAM, it's more of a customized, customization RAM. Um, I'm going to be using this RAM for a while, guys. There's so much customization that I don't think I can ever get bored of this RAM for a long time until another great RAM comes out. So nonetheless, even though the quadrant score did score low, as long as... In my opinion, as long as I can make my phone look nice and there's no lag to my phone, I'm good to go, you know guys? So it's not really, it doesn't really matter for quiet scores because I don't play intense games. I, I don't even play games on my phone actually. <laughs> You're just making a video for all you guys. <laughs> so anyway guys, I would highly recommend you get this. This is probably my favorite RAM or the top, at least the top 3 RAM for my list. Highly recommend you guys get this and if you're going to be getting this, please don't forget to give a big thanks to the developer and donate to him. I'll have links to the description to the forum where this RAM is located and all that. So please give him a big thanks and donate to him. He worked hard on this. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you already haven't and rate. Big thumbs up if you found this um, review helpful. See you in the next video.
And if you want to support me and contact me, you can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links in the description for any Android support. See you next video.